from the iconic Prakash Padukon and All England champion Pulela Gopichand to current stars such as Kidambi Srikanth and Saina Newal, Indian badminton has a history of producing world-class shuttlers in the solo discipline. The nation's prowess and success in the singles has led to growth in this category. But there is a downside. The growth of the solo format has led to lack of depth and quality in the doubles. For some time, Juwala Guta and Ashwini Ponapa were the only established pair in women's doubles competing and winning on the international stage. However, recently things are picking up in the doubles camp. We played our first nationals, senior nationals together and uh, I was really surprised that uh, we won our first nationals together and it was really a great victory for both of us and a great motivation as well. And since then uh, we are like started performing well and well day by day and uh, we are working more hard and, uh, and it's like a miracle I think. I mean we are in top 20 in the world and it's really a good thing for Indian and Indian doubles as well and for Indian badminton. Manu Atri and B. Sumit Reddy are India's latest hope in men's doubles. Currently ranked 20th in the world rankings, the duo began playing together in 2012. The partnership came about because a troublesome back injury to Sumit forced him to quit the singles format. But out of this misfortune, a new path has been forged. Manu saw an opportunity to use the solo skills of Sumit to help him when he was looking for a new playing partner. I used to partner with Jishnu Sanyal uh, and uh, he started playing with someone else so I had no option. I mean my coach uh, told me like to choose uh, Sumit and one more player. So I just chose Sumit. I just wanted to try with him because he just shifted to doubles. I had a back injury. Before that, I used to play uh, singles. I was around 5th uh, or 6th in uh, Indian ranking in singles. So I thought uh, he's a little more experienced than the other guy. So that actually worked out. The partnership got off to a good start. In their first competitive outing, the more experienced Manu guided Sumith to victory at the Sri Naga Nationals. They went on to win at the Tata Open India International Challenge, a title they defended the following year. By 2015, the duo broke into the top 20 in the BWF World Rankings. And with the Olympic qualifying period starting that year, the pair's progress came at the right time. They were on the winner's podium in Nigeria and Belgium and also clinched their maiden Grand Prix title in Mexico City. They finished the year in 17th, a career best for the Indian duo. Manu and Sumit were in good shape to qualify for the Summer Games in Rio. It's actually a very lucky year for us because once, once the Olympic qualification has started, uh, we never thought we would come so far. So because uh, we were going on our own for all the tournaments. It's like a result of our hard work also. But I think as Sumit said, we are lucky as well because uh, we played so many tournaments on our own and we have won, uh, like some of, them we, some of them we have won and some of them we have lost as well. But uh, it was really a good experience and, uh, and definitely hard work pays off. To secure their passage to Rio, the Indian pair opted to compete at lower level tournaments and in doing so had to pay for their own passage as the association finances players for tournaments at Grand Prix gold level and above. Although these events offer less points, Manu and Sumit felt they had a better chance of reaching the latter stages and winning. All the uh, GP tournaments and the Challenger tournaments are not sponsored, so we had to pay on our own. If we hadn't won uh, among the first three tournaments, uh, anyone, then I think we would have not come this far. We would have uh, just thought, okay, now we are just going to go and play the Super Series. You know, the Super Series, we need to compete against all the top guys and we are not seeded. So uh, we need to play the top five in the world. So there are pretty less chances of winning those. Instead, uh, we had to go and win the smaller ones, which uh, would make sure we are get qualified for the Olympics. The pair's steady climb also coincided with the arrival of a specialist doubles coach to the Indian national team. Former Malaysia men's doubles head coach Tan Kim He has been instrumental in the progress of Manu and Sumit. He's really intelligent in, about the techniques and all. He's uh, more into hard work and he works on our skills also. 
and uh, he he has trained all like he has trained uh, so many world top players like Lee Young Day, Koreans and Malaysians, and so many other teams also. So I think he's a uh, very experienced, and uh, I hope uh, he'll give India top doubles doubles players as well. It's all coming together nicely for the duo. With the Olympic qualifying period having ended earlier in the month, the pair has booked a place on the plane to Brazil having finished 12th in the Race to Rio rankings. Now on the verge of appearing on the biggest sporting stage, both players are quick to acknowledge the role their fathers played in pushing them to achieve greatness. His dream is also uh, to make sure I become a good uh, player, but uh, I think he never would have thought that I would make to the Olympics because uh, it was his call that I play badminton uh, and, and uh, I think all the hard work I put in is uh, his. It's my dad's dream. I mean, he wants me to play Olympics. Manu Atri and Sumit Reddy's success has helped to raise the profile of the doubles game in India. With a solid infrastructure now in place, it's hoped more players will be interested in doubles. As Badminton Unlimited wrapped up our chat with India's top duo, we found out what their Olympic dream is. Actually, my aim is to get a medal in Olympics. If we work hard and uh, if we train well, then you never know what gonna what is gonna happen in the tournament. Yeah, you never knew because see, uh, three years down the line, doctors said you can never play badminton. So I'm here. I'm pretty uh, Indian level and uh, also competing at the international level. So I think uh, uh, you never knew. All 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 you need to do is give your you give your best, and uh, someday, if uh, God's willing, He'll give you what you deserve. <laughs>